hoist your word up the flagpole. Well, David, the, um, the Letters and Numbers Club, it's growing all the time, and that's lovely to know, but it's not exactly a secret society, is it? It's not a secret society, but uh, a secret uh, group of conspirators that I know about is called a cabal, C-A-B-A-L. Now, this has a fascinating backstory for two reasons. The first is it's strongly linked to a Jewish word, Kabbalah, which means tradition, and that essentially describes the mystical uh, interpretation of Jewish scriptures, in particular the Torah. So there's that uh, idea of uh, mystics and ascetics getting together to come up with their own interpretation. Conspiring means breathing together. That's an important ingredient. So it's about uh, this group of people who are plotting something being so close, they're almost sharing each other's breath. That's a lovely image. I'd never realised that about conspire, mm. breathing together. It's incredibly intimate, isn't it? It is. But here's the historical kicker. Because in the 1600s, by a pure fluke, there were five ministers attached to uh, the court of King Charles II in, uh, in England. And those ministers were called... Clifford, Arlington, um, Buckingham, Ashley, and Lauderdale. And there are the initials of C-A-B-A-L that actually spell cabal. And it's that which has really cemented the word into the dictionary and into um, the minds of sort of popular culture due to that fluke. So I was thinking that if, in fact, uh, we were a group of conspirators here on Letters and Numbers right. with Cerner, Astor, Moorcroft, and it's Doe, is that right, and Duggan, we could be called the Domads. This would be the Domad Society, conspiring together, creating uh, letters and numbers. That was a very nice bit of conspiracy. <laughs> Thank you, David. Pleasure. Let's uh, move on to our score. Casey's on six. Norm is on 16, as uh, we head for some more letters. From you, Casey, please. Lily, could I start with a consonant, please? Thanks, Casey. D. And another consonant? L. And another consonant, please. T. And a vowel. E. And another. A. And a consonant, please. G. And another consonant. M. And a vowel. I. And I'll go for one more uh, consonant, please. And last letter, C. 30 seconds on the clock. How many that time? I've got a six. That sounds good, Norm. I have a seven. Hold that for a second. Let's go with the six first. Imaged. And your seven, Norm? I have claimed. That sounds good, David. Well, you could assert claim because claimed is good for seven. Uh, climate, medical, claimed, citadel, quite a few sevens there. Could not find an eight. A good mix for seven points. Now, Norm, just before we go to our next letters, how did your little chihuahuas go with the show last night? Did they, uh, did they score well watching at home? Uh, not quite as well as I did, but uh, they did all right. <laughs> oh, they did all right. They got a couple of the math problems. They did. Yeah, uh, all right. Well, it's good to hear. Let's have some more letters, though. Sure. Can I start with a consonant, please? Thank you. N. And then a vowel, please. E. A consonant. R. A vowel. A. Another consonant. D. And then a vowel, please. I. Another uh, consonant, please. T. Another consonant. B. And let's finish with a vowel, please. And last letter, U. And 30 seconds. How many did you get?
this time, Norm. I have seven. And Casey? I also have seven. Let's start with yours, please. Brained. And Norm? I have the same. Brained. You have the same. <laughs> uh, just verify if you would, please. They both brained this one, though. <laughs> the game show with two brains. It's very good. Good seven. Uh, there are a couple of uh, eights that I did find here, Richard. Uh, Urbanite, but uh, a lovely one that I did need to check is Turbaned, also there for eight. Very nice. Good find, David. But uh, nice scores, Norman Casey, 7H. Heading back to the numbers now, and uh, what combination do you fancy, Casey? Lily, could I get three large and three small, please? Thanks, Casey. Three large and three small. And starting with the smalls, eight, six, four, and the three large, 50, 75, and 100. The target to reach is 237. We're heading there. Controlling those numbers, Casey? Uh, not too well. I got 248. So uh, just outside the scoring range. Norm? I have 244. You have crept into the scoring range, so uh, tell us what you did. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And I multiplied that by 100. By 100 is 200. 200. And I added 50. Add the 50. And subtracted 6. So 244. Is 244. So, not bad going from Norm, but not on the target, Lily. Is this uh, one that you were able to get to? Um, I, it was, and when I first saw this, I thought uh, 237 is 12 away from 225, or 13 away from 250. Um, and I've got a 12 sitting here, so if I try to preserve the 4 and the 8, um, and try to get to 225, then, then we're there. And here's how I did it. Uh, 6 by 50 is 300, and then take away the 75 is 225, and then all you need to do is add the 4 and the 8, then you're up to 237. Ah, oh, lovely little wrestling. Very nice wrestling. But Norm was in the target range and scored 5 points. So, Casey, 13, Norm on 35. Another break coming up, another word mix for you. Tiny Tide. The clue this time... No one else should have yours. See you after this.